You can add time and expenses from various places and bill for time. If you want to see the full process of adding a time or expense in the system, make sure to watch the Add Time and Expense Quick Tips video first. Starting from the dashboard, you have the Add Time and Add Expense buttons. You can also turn on internal time in your settings to allow for non-client, non-billable time to be added for scenarios like training or time off to be tracked by employees. The time entry grid allows you to add time from the dashboard without worrying about pop-ups. Start filling in the information and the clients and projects will start appearing. You can tab and use your up and down arrow keys instead of using your mouse to enter in your time. Once you're finished with an entry, you can click the Save button to the right to save it. To add more entries, click the plus icon and you can change the date to when you want to add time for above. You can also click on one of the plus icons next to a related project. This will pull up a new time entry with the client and project filled in already, so that's one less step you need to do. If you click on one of the projects from your dashboard, you'll be sent to that project page, which will allow you to add time with the client and project filled in already. The time and expenses is great because you can view all time and expenses added each day for any week. You can add time, expenses, and batches of time. Click the Enter Batch button to open up a blank timesheet to add 10 time entries at once. You can add any client, project, description as needed, and once you're finished, click Save, which will save all entries at one time. Now, if you use timers in the program, the best feature to use is the multi-timer feature located at the top right of any page. Click the clock icon and click the Add Timer option. From the new timer, you can fill in any fields here or leave them blank and click Save Changes for a blank timer to start running. You can go back into the timer at any point to edit the details or to add new details as needed. The best part about these timers is that they're built into the server, so if the browser closes or your computer shuts down, these timers will not stop running. Also, if you start a timer at one location, go to a separate location to sign into this program, you still have access to these timers no matter where you go. Once you're finished, you can open up the entry and click the Convert to Time Entry button. This will open up a time entry, which you can edit as needed, and once you're finished, click Save and Close. Now you also have duplicating options within your time and expenses. So say you build the same descriptions, activity, and client over and over again. You can click into any time entry, whether it's been invoiced or not, and you'll always have a duplicate option. Once duplicated, make the necessary changes and then save it. That new entry will save in the program without affecting the original entry. Now you can also add time and expenses both online and offline using your mobile, tablet, and desktop applications, which are all free to download. The applications sync to and from the program, so once you save an entry, it will automatically upload it to the program if you're connected to the internet. If you're not connected, the entries will stay saved in the application till you hit an internet connection. Once you do, they'll upload automatically. Thank you for watching the different ways to add entries tutorial and you can continue watching for the time and expenses tutorial next.